Hello, I'm Green. And I'm Purple. Welcome back to Green and Purple. We're starting a new series today, Caleb's Plane. Yep. And it is Dark Cloud, a game from Caleb's childhood. Yes, I love this game to death when I was a kid. And um, it still holds up today, I would say. But um, before I get like too into like what I want to say, um, we're just going to start it because it has... <sighs> Sorry, I've been playing this game... That's like it's Japanese, so like oh, it's the circle. circle and the X. So I'm like I'm trying to get back into the Metal Gear Solid one, two, and three are like that, and then you'll you'll get used to at that, and then you'll play another game, and then a book was found in some old ruins. No one could read it, so they burned it. <laughs> <and burned fire. laughs> All the scholars who decoded it puzzled over the mystery of the book. Who wrote it? Why were there no pictures? <laughs> There's a picture right there. No, that's just text shaped like a picture. <laughs> a world with two moons illuminating the sky like Star Wars. The many dazzling adventures of a young boy. But whether or not this is a true story. Do you believe in the story woven in the books? I'm sorry, I gotta readjust myself. Or in the book? <laughs> Maybe it's a fantasy that existed only in a boy's heart. Oh, okay. Let me tell you this story this ancient book tells of. A magical and magnificent fairy tale. And the hero of this wondrous tale, whose name is... And here we go. You can, uh, this game, you can name your characters. So I told Austin that he's in charge of naming all the characters. Alright, let me see. Oh, yeah, here you go. Yeah, let's see. So, I, I was gonna. The one thing I told Austin when before we started playing this, because Austin doesn't know anything about this game, besides like this cer certain things I've told him about, and uh, I, 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 it's hard. I can't really explain to you guys like what type of game this is because it's very unique in how it works. And, like it's a dungeon crawler, but at the same time, it's also like a. It's also kind of like Sims, a very simplified Sims, and like you make. You'll see. You'll see as we get into it. Hmm. His name. His name. Wub. Wubnub. <laughs> Wubnub. Wubnub. <laughs> Wubnub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's not the name I put in. <laughs> <laughs> this game lied to me. Oh, I love this part. We must catch the, the savior of time. Wubnub! <laughs> Wubnub the Chosen. These guys are stupid. They worship a pot. <laughs> oh, that's a lady. Yeah. You can tell because she has boobles. Oh. You can't get whiplash if you guys do that too much. And one guy back there is like, Ah! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Look at that guy! He looks like... Oh, what's his name? Now I can't remember. If I remember... Wait, oh, which one are you talking about? The guy the on the... guy on the left. The uh, guy on the red? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I don't know remember. what his name is, He reminds I... me of Cartman a little bit. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks like Cartman. I don't even watch South Park that much, but, you know. Um, I... If I remember correctly... It's Riku! You didn't tell me Riku was in this game? There's our Kingdom Hearts there reference. There you go. I think that I remember if I'm remembering correctly, the guy on the right, his name's Flarg? Something like Flarg? that. Flarg? It's like Flarg. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of like German. That sounds like I came up with his name. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do this. I would mess up. Yeah, you'd be the one guy out of line. Look how in sync they are. I know. It's like they're programmed. It's almost like. like <laughs> The booty. That was a little river dance there. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah! <laughs> what? what is going on here? I remember when I was a little kid, I would try to imitate this dance. <laughs> <Would you? laughs> <laughs> oh man, my mother. She. How, how old were. Okay, so this. Did you play this pretty much right when it came out? Yeah, yeah. So this came out in 2001, so you were. You would have been 
what five 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 or well four or five actually yeah. I guess depending. Flog, yeah, flog. Flog, sir. Do you know the legend of some of the urn? Of course. How much money do you think I put into acquiring this urn? Don't worry, guys. Like, if you miss something, I'll explain it all to you. I've been waiting for this for years, and now its legendary power is mine. <laughs> Wait, I just imagine, like, a five-year-old purple trying to imitate <laughs> this dance. 400 years ago, the genie of darkness appeared in the east, and with its evil power, the world was burned away. What do you intend to do with such frightening power in your hands? You'll see. I will steal everyone's butts. <laughs> Especially hers. You know if this game was made a bit later, there'd be some jiggle, jiggle fuzzes going on there. Well, not if they wanted to keep their E10 plus rating or under. <laughs> if things start jiggling, then it goes to teen. Yeah. <laughs> if you keep it flat, then people they're like, okay, that'll pass. So now is the time. Yes, sir, so it seems. <laughs> what, this is... Did you need the dark... whatever? Well, it's quite different than I imagined. I didn't know he was fat. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient dark genie, what is it? Hey, who are you guys? Austin's doing all these voices right now. <laughs> Welcome back, genie of darkness. I broke the seal and released you. Therefore, I am your master. Oh, is that right? Whatever, fine. That's right, I've eaten for 400 years. I don't eat so many food and food. Is he gonna eat Cartman? Got you! Oh! <laughs> Man, if you couldn't even run away from that, the yeah. guy would reach really. Oh, stop me! Help! Oh, God, that's yeah. gross. <laughs> Very, uh. Cheesy. <laughs> no. Mmm, delicious. He's quite proud of himself. Very. You see that smile on his face? That was the dark genie, by the way. It's kind of giving me some Jack and Daxter vibes. Is that the love interest? It is, actually. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's going to come to wake up our character, the classic JRPG setup. <laughs> no, she's just going to say, Hi, how are you today? What? No, it's already started. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, no, it's already started. Come on, let's go. It, it's, it's Jerry. It's just Jerry. <laughs> See, I told you, you should have hurried. Come on, we're late. I have a staff member this year. I have to go. Sorry. Oh, she left you, Wubnub. Hurry up. Why does my own mother call me Wubnub? <laughs> <laughs> That's not my name. It's Jerry. <laughs> you gave it to me, Mom. Down that fast. I didn't realize that was a head. I thought it was just like a bowl or something. <laughs> Why is he putting a ball in his head? Maybe his name really is Wubnub. Wubnub. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's a party. There's three people. Th oh, there's more people there. There now. you go. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's fabulous. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> He's tried his best. He reminds me of, of the big guy from Mulan. Oh, uh, Poe? I think his name's I think his name is Poe. Yeah, I think so. A lot of people in this game just remind you. Mm-hmm. 
There's a lot of dancing people in this game so far. In the intro. Yeah, I like the juxtaposition, because one, the first one was like kind of a dark Evil dance, dancing. and then this one's more... Mm. Ah, look at the insect squirm about. <laughs> ah. Oh no, he's gonna fart at him. <laughs> okay, that's not it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> He just shoot beams out of everywhere. Yeah. I mean, everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> I saw it going that way. What, old man Jenkins? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. That was your house. He's. Oh, no. Oh, God. He didn't run fast for an old man. <laughs> He's still holding his guitar to his like, oh. gotta keep it. Oh, no. Love them. The love of Fendris. The love. <laughs> Well, that wasn't very smart. You're both just gonna get crushed by it. And that's the game, guys. So I hope you get it. <laughs> You're pretty good. Who are you looking at? <laughs> you definitely have to voice this guy. No, there's a new guy. Mm -hmm. Your ear will be his voice. Father, can you hear me? Open your eyes. <laughs> That's perfect. Why go? Hey. By, <laughs> by the way, our main character is a silent protagonist. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, I'm a fire king. I'm the entity that unites all nature's spirits. Listen well, young one. Something bad has happened. Men blinded by greed have revived the Dark Genie. This Dark Genie is terribly powerful. Its power is so great that it could destroy the entire world. You saw it. Your own village being destroyed right before your eyes. Not just your village. In a flash, many villages and towns were destroyed. In one night, half your world was annihilated. <sighs> I mean, that's that. I mean, that's impressive. But I mean, he is a genie, so I mean, Jafar. Yeah. Really... Wasn't that long ago, man? Wubnub. <laughs> they don't have much to remember. It must be the man from the east that performed the resurrection ceremony. Probably thinking to use his black demon power for war, without realizing how frightening it is. It is darkness. Pure darkness itself. That's why they call him the Dark Genie. Almost destroyed the entire <laughs> world. <laughs> its malevolence is that great. The bad thing is that it has the same type of magical power as us spirits. Oh. Unfortunately, we aren't powerful enough to destroy it. So we're going to make you do it. Young man, I see that you have a strong will that you can withstand the evil power. And also a clear, kind heart. A little bit of mustard on your shirt. <laughs> you might be able to fight against the darkness it generates. He's like, oh, oh, oops. oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I decided to stake our fate on you. Let me bless you with power. And then Webnum's like, no, I, I don't really want No, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> no, take back, these. So now we gain the Atmamelia. There. Surprise. That's called Atlamelia. It's a stone with a magical power. No, don't look that way, boy. I'll explain now. It might get too bright for your eyes for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is was our town. Do you know where this is? This is no simple empty lot. Empty, empty lot. Empty lot. <laughs> this was your village. But do not lose heart. As long as you have the stone, you can return it to its original form. You see... Just before the village was destroyed by that genie, I made this infographic to show you what happened. <laughs> I saved the buildings and people by sealing them in spheres called Atla. It seems those Atla were scattered all around by its tremendous magic power. They were probably blown to different places around the world. 
He probably thinks everything is destroyed. You must restore the world before it realizes what happened. Absorb that which I sealed in Atla. Using that Atla mill, uh, whatever, and bring them back. <laughs> I don't forget what it's called. Then you'll be able to restore the world to its original form. That must be killing your throat. It's not great. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> You may even be able to create an even better world than before. Hmm. You don't seem to understand anything I'm saying. Millennials. <laughs> oh, well. I'll give you another lesson when you acquire some Atla. Which I'll probably just skip what he has to say. I can, like, what he's explaining right now to you guys, I can explain, like, in five, like, half the time. So long. No way. I'm just doing it because it's part of, like, the introduction. Mm hmm So, yeah. Now he's a butterfly. This dude's pretty happy for his whole town just getting destroyed. He has hope. Hey! He has hope. It's hope. Is this still yeah. the good? Well, Nub, can you hear them? You should be able to hear them. The screams. The screams <laughs> of the fallen. <laughs> <laughs> the voices of the wind. Your, your friends are dead. Hear that? That's your mother. That's her burning to death. <laughs> voices of the trees. Voices of the animals. And the voices of Earth. They're all calling for your help. Well, Nub. You will probably meet and say goodbye to many people. And talking to these people, you may receive clues to defeating the darkness. Look for them. Press the A button. Your adventure will begin. <laughs> you mean X? X, whatever. <laughs> First, go to the village chief's house. He'll show you where to go next. All right, guys. So, I think, um, I just want to get the introduction out of the way. That's why <coughs> you may notice this episode is going to be a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But, because, you know, we don't want to interrupt it. So... Next time, we'll oh. actually start playing. Yeah. Okie doke. Bye, everybody. See ya.